I just got back from kayaking with my wife and I normally store these paddles behind the shed behind me but they lay on the ground and kind of get all messed up and I got to clean them every time. So I was inspired by Joel Telling, 3D printing nerds, brackets that he made for a spool rack on his wall. So I want to make some brackets to hold these to the back of the shed. I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. And they get special access to ChepClub.com. So join us. So here's the wall where I want to mount the paddles. And basically I just want a hook on each side so I can place it on the hooks and then it's off the ground. But I want two of them and I want them in parallel, although on the camera it probably doesn't look parallel. But a hook here and a hook here connected by a block that I can screw into the wall. So then I'll have two hooks and I can just lift them off or put them back on. So now I need to take some measurements and then go into Tinkercad, design the brackets so I can 3D print them. Here I am on the Tinkercad screen. The first thing I'm going to do is drop in a box and then the ruler so I can use some actual measurements. So I drop it to 10 millimeters thick, 250 millimeters long, and the 20 millimeters wide is fine. Now I turn this on its side because I'm going to print this on its side actually. And then now I need to make the hooks. So I bring in a cylinder that's 30 by 30. I eventually actually rounded this more. And then I bring this further out and I'm going to use a block to connect the cylinder to the main base. That way I get an extension out that I want. And so once that's in place, now I resize this hole because this is going to cut out the hook for the actual uh, paddles. And I'm going to use a block to make it a nice straight cut. So I bring that in to make it the same size as the hole. So I'll just shift this over here. And then I can group these together and it should form the hook. And there we go. So there's the first hook. So now all I'm going to do is just duplicate that and then slide it down exactly 20 centimeters away. That's what I measured would work, which means my bracket here is too short. So I'm going to make it 280. And now I need to center it. So I'm going to group the two hooks together as a unit and then center the bracket and the hook combination. And that centers everything. It's an easy way to center two items around a single object. Now I need to put holes in for the screws and I go to my part collection and I already have a five millimeter hole for that and I'm going to take the hook and bracket and group that together so that's one unit and turn it flat now so it's easier to do these holes. Now I'm going to grab the hole and the bracket and I'm going to center these in the X and Y that gives me a hole perfectly in the center of the bracket and I'll duplicate that and bring it on the right top side and then the bottom left side. So once I got those, then I realized I wanted to put a, a chamfered edge on this because the screws I'm using have a chamfered edge. They're almost like a drywall screw. So I'm going to use this cone and drop on top of the hole. I should have done this the first time and then duplicated this, but I'm going to have to do it three times. So I'll just drop the cone down into the screw hole and then make it a hole. And this will then make a chamfered hole and then I'll have a straight hole for the screw. So I did this three times for all the holes, group that all together. And now I've got my finished bracket with chamfered holes. So now I need to export this and we'll slice it and print two of them. I imported the bracket into Simplify 3D to slice it. I made a copy and centered them. And then I'm using my CR10 Mini Profile. For a layer height, I'm using 0.16 millimeters, infill of 30%, heated bed of 50 degrees, extruder 205, and 60 millimeters per second. After prepare to print, it says it will take 6 hours and 39 minutes to print. I'm using my Filament Friday filament white color. Now I found a lot of white filaments do not print that well. So when I was testing this, I found this white printed beautifully. So it earned the Filament Friday filament label. I let these print overnight, which is like magic to me. Go to bed and wake up and it's done. I just have to remove them. I use a little glue on glass. I like to use Avery glue stick. And if there's any glue left on it, I can just wash it off with water. These look really good. I'm happy with the way they turned out. They're pretty smooth and they look plenty strong enough, but we'll see once we hang them. The chamfered hole came out really nice. And these are galvanized screws I'm going to use so they won't rust. And they slide right into the hole and recess nicely. So I think this is going to work out good. The design hopefully fits the paddles. So I printed these in white so it looks pretty good. I don't have to paint. And I want to screw into the studs, not just the wood. And I can see where the nails are. 
at these points it's 24 inch on center on the shed so I'm going to screw into the stud so I'll put one here and I'll put one down here and I'll level between the two so I'll just install one then I'll level and do the next one so now the moment of truth will it work There's one, and there's two. A lot better than laying on the ground. What do you guys think? Let me know in your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. And if nothing else, click on that Chip logo and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.